Assalamualaikum. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness there is no God but Allah, who came to us in the persons of Master Far Muhammad. And I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is indeed thine exalted Christ. And I furthermore indeed bear witness that the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine reminder, leader, teacher, and guide. I greet you all with the nation greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. All praises is due to Allah. On behalf of Brother Albert Muhammad and the Let Us Make Man family, as always family, we thank you for taking your time to read our posts, watch our videos, support our cause, our efforts in the plight of the black community. We can never thank you enough. Some like brother Timothy. I want to take a few minutes of your time, though the initial goal is to take a few minutes of your time. This particular subject may wind up going a few minutes longer, depending on what it takes to get to the point we're striving to make. When you kill a white woman. The old saying is karma. I want to start this session off in the sense of reminding those or, or ask or, or just searching and seeking. Have you ever seen the movie Glory? Glory was a movie that featured actor Denzel Washington based on the revolution or the slave war, well, you know, North against the South, et cetera, et cetera, the Civil War. In this movie, there was a scene coming to the very end of the movie. At that time, the Confederates were going to raid that big house, so to speak. And the black woman, which was the maid, was defending the big house. And the black soldier was assaulting her, roughing her up, beating on her. So the white woman come out the big house to assist the black woman that, were, that was being beaten by the black soldier. When the white woman put her hands on the black soldier trying to stop him from beating on the black woman, he responded by smacking the white woman. And as soon as he smacked the white woman, the white soldier shot the black soldier, letting him know, you can beat the hell out of the nigger slave or the nigger woman, but don't put your hands on the white woman. There's a point to this. This is exactly what you see in taking place in regards to the recent shooting of Justine DeMond in Missouri by Officer Muhammad Noor. This is interesting because history has already shown what they have done to our people and what they continuously do to our people. The sad reality is oftentimes our own people have more sympathy and mercy for white people than they have for their own. Sandra Bland was kidnapped, brutalized, and suffered a concussion before she even made it to the jail that she died in. And many of our people came out and spoke against Sandra Bland. Making statements as if to say, well, maybe if she would have did this or she would have did that. That's how a lot of our people responded to the incident with Sandra Bland. Young Tamir Rice, 13 years old, a baby, playing in the park with a BB gun. The police pulls up and Tamir Naive to what's really going on, 
not realizing that this was his last day on the planet. The officer get out. Shoot Tamir without even saying anything. Tamir gone. No charges. The officer walked. Officer Muhammad Noor. Listen to this. This is interesting. Who was a Somali immigrant. Refugee. Who came over to America with his family. For a better life. Became a police officer. In Missouri. Now. In all the previous shootings of African Americans. Not once. Did they identify any one of these officers. In terms of their nationality. Or their religion. We want to see who the real racist is. As a matter of fact, it took them approximately five days to even identify the shooter of Mike, of Mike Brown by name. It took approximately six days to identify the shooters, the six shooters that shot Sean Bell in a hell of bullets the morning of his wedding day. I can go on and on and on down the list. But when you kill a white woman, the game changes. There's an organization called Blue Lives Matter which compose of police officers all across America who created this organization to counter the Black Lives Matter movement. Now this Blue Lives Matter organization represents police shootings. So for every time a police officer is involved with a shooting, the Blue Lives Matter posts the information pertaining to the shooting and the officer that did the shooting, we're still waiting for the Blue Lives Matter to back Officer Muhammad Noor. Officer Muhammad Noor has spoken out since the shooting. And the only thing that he said was, ever since the shooting, he has been blackballed by his colleagues and the police union. No one has came to his aid in the sense of raising funds that he stands a chance in this situation. Any life that is taken unjustly is wrong, no matter how you look at it. But you want to say, for those of you who think like this, color don't matter. They showing you color matters. Here's an Australian immigrant, Justine Dumont, the young lady that was shot, who thought that she was doing good in the wrong place at the wrong time, trying to do good. Philando Castillo, in the wrong place at the wrong time, trying to do good. The officer that shot Philando Castillo received $458,000 from the state. This is all in Missouri. Interesting. And he got 600 hours of paid lead time. Will they give that to Muhammad Noor? Will they make a deal with Muhammad Noor after the killing of this Australian immigrant that now all over the world everyone is appealing to the American government to get justice for this Australian immigrant that was shot by the police who thought 
that they were being ambushed. So now he has a legitimate reason in his mind. Whether it's legitimate to you and I is irrelevant. He thought that he was being ambushed by a little white girl coming out of her house in her pajamas and he shot. Right? That is the same situation as we saw when they choked out our brother in New York. And the police in New York made mockery of it because they created shirts subtitled, I Can't Breathe. There's something very interesting about this situation. And that is white people are making it clear. And when I'm talking about white people, I'm not talking about the little white boy or the little white girl that you work with. You have your cheese and cracker with in the morning. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones in power, the ones that make the decisions, the ones that's looking to arrest Officer Mohammed Noor ASAP. The ones that's looking to charge him with homicide. As you and I speak. But we couldn't get them the better eye. Mm -hmm. In the situations where blacks. Were being assassinated. And still being brutalized and beat to death. Live on camera. In America. But what takes me as the soft hearted black folks come on Facebook or social media and try to justify what happens to white people, but don't give a damn about what happens to our own people. I find that very interesting. We didn't create racism. They did it. And they showing it more so in this particular situation. Well, what do you mean, brother? The chief of police of that department was terminated. You're not even talking about six to seven days after the shooting. The chief of police was forced to resign by who? Listen clearly. By the mayor of that city. There goes the power. I said it in the previous video. When we start focusing on those that hold positions and titles in our communities, then we can make a difference for our own people. Immediately, the mayor terminated or forced the chief of police to resign, fired, behind the shooting that took place. Even though the chief of police was nowhere around, didn't pull the trigger, but they were held accountable. Mike Brown was running away from the scene. Huh? Unarmed, posing no threats to the officer that shot and murdered him. He didn't shoot Mike Brown one time, two times. He shot at Mike Brown 10 times and hit him nine times. Think about it. Who is the bigger race or who is the racist in America? Hmm? Interesting. They identify this officer as a killer cop. Good God Almighty. We gave white people the power that they got. I'm talking about those who sit in office. They labeled the man a killer cop. So they can assure some sort of conviction. Somalian, which is African, Muslim. Think about it. The man stand no chance. So you probably say, well, Brother Albert, you know, it sounds like you're trying to defend this officer. Not by a long shot. We call him a spade a spade. So it's not a matter of me trying to defend the officer. We're dealing with reality. He was in a situation. His partner was in a situation. They saw a, 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 a body 
an individual coming towards them, he reached over and shot towards what he saw behind the loud noise that he heard. That was his excuse. It is not for me to determine whether or not it was a justifiable excuse. Sandra Bland was on her way wherever she was going, riding, minding her business, was pulled over for a simple traffic violation that he could have just let her go with the ticket and she winds up dead. Huh? Little Ayana out of Detroit, nine years old, laying in her bed asleep while the, the uh, SWAT team is doing a raid. Raid the wrong house. Shoot this baby in the head and kill her in her sleep while her grandmother screamed for mercy. How in the hell are we the racist, man? Do you think that God would sit back and not hold white people accountable and force them to face their, uh, the, the same reality that is being issued to us as a people? The worst is still yet to come. But they're going to do all that they can to nip it in the blood so that any black man, particularly, that shoot a white person, know better moving forward. I don't know Officer Muhammad Noor. All I know is what they put out. There's a body. There was a shooting. There was a justifiable reason according to them. He doesn't even have the backing of his own police department. Huh? Sean Bell, out partying, celebrating, bachelor's party, having a good night. Can't wait to go for the next morning to come so he can marry or get married to his newlywed wife or his new wife. He never got a chance to do that. The police begin to shoot randomly and kill Sean Bell. Amadou Diallo, oh, many of you may not know who Amadou Diallo is. Amadou Diallo was an African immigrant on his way home in an apartment in New York with the key in the door. The officers pull up, a multiple number of officers pull up on Amadou Diallo. Tell him to put his hands up. He turns around and raises his hand. Gets shot at 41 times. Hit 19. And all he had in his hand was a wallet. Admiral Louima, another African. Arrested in New York. Took to the police department. And was sodomized. With a plunger. And they laughed about it. Nothing happens. See? This is a reality. So now a black man shoots a white woman. And already the chief of police is fired. Here, here's the point. Literally, I'm, I'm literally trying to make. Is that we as a people have been on the wrong path for far too long. When it comes to assuring justice for our people and ourselves. You don't see nobody marching, not yet, or picketing, not yet, at, that I know of, in regards to this Australian immigrant that was shot. See, because before all that goes into motion, those that sit on top, that makes the pro that makes the decisions. They already got things in motion to assure the IE community that their safety is 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 secure. So they're gonna make this officer an example. And I've heard some say, "Well, now they'll finally do something." So we gotta wait for a white woman to get shot, right? As if to say. Black lives have no value. So when our sisters put the Black Lives Matter movement together, it was to assure the world that black life does have value. Huh? Officer Mohammed Noor haven't heard anything from all these fundraisers that raised money for the officer that shot 
um, Mike Brown, right? All these fundraisers that was raised for these officers that has been shooting blacks all across America. Officer in Cincinnati, Ohio. They raised almost $2 million. This man shot this man point blank over a traffic violation. The police union came to their, their assistance immediately. We have yet to hear from the police union on behalf of Officer Muhammad Noor. Remember, Somalian, Muslim. Australian, white girl. That's reality. So what we as a people have to literally do is rethink our movements. We can't fight from the bottom for long. We have to figure out a way to take control at the top. Those who sit in the positions, they're right now putting together a, a criminal investigation team to arrest Officer Muhammad Noor for homicide or murder. As you and I speak. Showing you, as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, the, 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 um, the movie that Denzel Washington, play, Denzel Washington played in, Glory. And the scene where the black man was shot when he smacked the white woman. See, whenever you do something to them, especially if you're black, they're going to stop that because they don't want to start a trend. See, if they allow this brother to get away with it, then that opens the door. Well, how would you, well, let's, let's look at it this way. Officer Mia Sota Familia, not even a month ago to three to four weeks ago, was sitting in her cruiser in New York, in the Bronx. Actually, the RV on her daily shift. Suspect came by and shot her in the head, killed her. Right on the spot. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Officer Muhammad Noor was thinking about that situation. And decided to take action before he lose his partner. Which they saw the body coming towards them from the driver's side. He's on the passenger side. This is interesting. Because at the end of the day. What it all boils down to is how much can we really and are we really willing to continue to take as a people? They gunning us down like wildflower. And they come to the aid of their own. Somebody wrote on one of the comments earlier. He doesn't recognize that he's black. F him. Talking about. Um, the officer, Muhammad Noor. Now, to make a statement like that, you probably would, I would think that you know the individual. Right? I don't see how he couldn't recognize he, he's, not, he's not black when he's born in Somalia. And he came to America as a Somalian immigrant. So I don't think him recognizing being black at all has anything to do with it. Maybe he doesn't recognize that he's a black American because that he's not. He's a Somalian, an African from Somalia. So where the man from? See? And when we get caught up in things like that, we lose support for one another. See? The chickens come home to roost. That's a reality. This is what's happening. The worst is yet to come. They're going to do all that they can, as I stated, to assure the so-called IE community that this young lady lived in, that their safety is secure. Now, you will see no less than six months behind this shooting, 
rules to the game of police shooting change. But it took the killing of a white woman, a yoga instructor, who was in her pajamas. You see how they painting this? Her lawyer went as far as to say this is one of the worst situations or she's one of the best people that ever been killed in a situation like that. In other words, all the rest of them didn't matter to him. But her, she was much more important than Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Sean Bell, and all the others, Philando Castillo, and all the others that were shot unjust by police officers in America. And many of those got paid for the killing of these individuals. But this officer will surely have to deal with what he did. See? They have a federal attorney on this case on behalf of the victim. When you would think the normal procedures they have federal attorneys on behalf of the police officers or state attorneys on behalf of the police police officers involved with these shootings. See, he has been suspended with pay, which tells you that's the norm. That's an agreement with the union that doesn't go nowhere. That too will change after this shooting. Pay close attention. If you think for some apparent reason that when I do these videos it's out of paranoia or things like that. Nah, this is a reality that we're dealing with. She so happened to be a white woman in the wrong place at the wrong time. Though, in her heart and her mind, she was doing good. Because she heard someone screaming that she thought was being raped. So she called 911, the worst mistake that she could have made in her life. She would have been better off throwing rocks towards that direction to scare off those who were probably committing the crime. But she thought by dialing 911 would get the help to the person she was trying to help, not knowing this will be her last day on the planet. Because police officers all over America a gunning for that prize. See, but he's not going to get paid because he didn't kill a nigga. See, he killed the cracker. He killed a white girl, a little lily white girl. See, innocent one. She's better than Sandra Bland, according to her lawyer. Huh. Basically, the way he put what he said, I don't see that, not by a long shot. Sandra Bland was a soldier. Huh? Little Ayanna, only nine years old, sleeping in her bed. She died a soldier's death. Killed by a monster in all sorts of um, armory. You know, how, you know how they come when they go and raid a house? You was thinking you playing one of them video games. That's how they dress themselves up now. They don't even look like police officers. They're straight killers. See? So being that this officer was black and Muslim, with the height of Muslim phobia now, all over the world, especially in America, and to our sisters that are Muslim, that wear your garments in the public. I beg you to be very vigilant and watchful of where you go and your surroundings. They are targeting you. They are targeting you. And they don't care who you are because 90% of them don't even know who you affiliate with. They don't even care about that. If they can if they can do harm to you and get away with it. So be vigilant and be careful where you go. If you're in the nation of Islam, 
You know after dark where you should be without escort. I don't have to go over that with you. That is for your own protection. The God saw these days coming and they are here. See? I can get over the fact of how the media is playing this one out to favor the family of the victim. And the officer who is a Somalian immigrant, Muslim, made to be a monster because he's labeled as a killer cop. So now that he's labeled as a killer cop, he don't get support from Blue Lives Matter. And I checked their website. Nothing about it as of yet. As of yet. Nothing about it. See? But when the officer shot Philando Castilli right in front of your eyes, in front of the world, the man was reaching for his wallet just to show the ID that he was licensed to carry. And he shot four or five times. Recklessly, there's a baby in the back seat, fiance in the passenger seat. He didn't care nothing about that at all, right? He got four hundred and fifty-eight thousand and five hundred dollars for killing Philando Castillo. So, black man and woman, know for a surety, this ain't no game. It's a tag on your head. It's called early retirement now. For police officers all across America. And that officer that shot Philando Castillo was not white. So we understand. He was a reckless police officer. Who got paid for his recklessness. And now he's living life comfortably. While the family of Philando Castillo is still dealing with the loss. And his death, his untimely assassination. You want to talk about assassinations. It can't get no better than that. Right? So they're going to take the death of this white girl. And they're going to blow it out of proportion so that they can get what they want. And that is not only to see that Mohammed Noor is arrested, charged and arrested for the killing of this young lady. But that police officers all over America rethink. So what I'm saying is when we said black lives matter and they started fussing about that particular statement, which became household and a movement, they were only arguing behind the fact that they did not agree and they never see the value in black life. Now that the little white girl was killed, untimely, the same way that many of our people have died at the hands of reckless police officers. See? Now all of a sudden, white lives matter. I have more value because they're doing far more in this, in this situation less than seven days or ten days of the shooting. The chief of police of that department has been terminated or forced to resign by the mayor, which for the record, the mayor and the city council of your city controls the police department. And this is how you know when you got corruption, because when the mayor and the city council doesn't take a stand, that means they don't give a damn at all. You follow what I'm saying? So when you get a police shooting or something going on in your community, you go to your mayor, the man that was elected to represent your entire community and your city council and force them to make a difference because they have the right and the ability to take action and force the, the police unions to do their job. You don't have to have a reckless police officer driving around in your community. See? And white people, so just watch this case. If you think that we're crazy, follow this case and watch how swift justice form as it all as is already being formed. But watch how it unfolds. 
swift justice. It can't get no swifter than this. See? I can't think of this brother name right now to save my life. It's not coming to me, family. If you're listening, help your little brother. The brother that got choked out in New York. I cannot think of this brother name for the sake of my life. I do apologize. But when you think about that situation, as the officer was holding on to his neck, squeezing with all his might, it's like a lioness that grabs hold to a zebra by the neck and just holds on and keep crunching on the windpipe till the zebra fell, fade out. Exactly, Lawrence Bap Baptiste, heads are already rolling in that case. But the lion holds on to the zebra until the zebra fades out. That's exactly what they did to our brother in New York. And all he was selling was secondhand cigarettes. Thank you, brother Eric Garner. Thank you, I apologize. It was at the top of my head. The man was choked out worse than a zebra. Go watch it, man. If this ain't a police officer that's out of control and, and reckless, there is none. He was holding on to this man and he didn't get no charge. They had a history, them same few officers had a history of harassing that brother. The mayor of New York, the city council of New York ain't do a damn thing, but they never do. Because they, they're one big corrupt organization. See? And as my brother Lawrence just said, heads are already rolling in Missouri. Most definitely. And you can rest assured that Officer Muhammad Noor days a number as far as free society is concerned. He gonna have to pay for that. How? On what level? It's beyond my knowledge. But white people are vindictive, especially those in power. And I know y'all don't like when we say white people, but hell, that's what we're dealing with. That's our reality. You don't have to like the truth. The truth is never made to be liked. It's made to be exposed and told and talked about to make effective changes. I, we can't make changes if I continue or if we just continue to say the things that you want to hear. The things that you like to hear. All lives are the same. That's a lie. All people are the same. That's a lie. How come you can't just see that and accept the reality? All people are not the same. All lives are not the same. All lives don't have the same value. Look at how swift they moved out on this case. And Eric Garner, Mike Brown. Huh? Sandra Bland. There's so many I can't even name them all. Sean Bell. Amadou Diallo. Eleanor Bunkers. Natasha Harling. Huh? No justice for none of those names I call. They were murdered, slaughtered. See? With that being said. There's a price to pay, especially when you kill a white woman like that. I can't justify what that officer did. Only he know why he did what he did. He had a matter of seconds to make a decision. That was the decision he made. He has to deal with his decision. What we're saying, what we're saying is justice has should have a two-edged sword. The same way they're serving justice towards this situation or trying to get it done is the same way it should be for our people. But it's not going to happen unless we unite and stand together as one. Put aside our petty differences. Right? Stop nitpicking. Stop looking for problems. Right? Put aside our differences and let's make a change. We can put the men and women in position that we need to secure our communities. Separation is our only option. Separation is the best option. As I said in the previous video, I am for segregation 1000%. And it's never too late.
to separate and do for self. Black people are such amazing and talented people. There's a there's a, a, a thing, a post that I saw with a comment that was made by Hitler. And at the end, Hitler said the only way America was going to win that war is because she stole the Jews of God. And he was referring to black people. He said it just like that. Now, rather Hitler said that out of his own mouth remains a mystery to me. But when you read it, I'll post it. But when you read it, it makes a hell of a lot of sense. Because black people are very intelligent people in America. Why do you think majority of the immigrants that come to America come to the black community? Not just to get your money. We know they consider us as liquid gold, according to the Jews. We are liquid gold. So it's not just to get our money, but they also come to learn from us. They come to learn how to live in America from us because they find it very, I'm talking about immigrants. They find it very interesting and very strange how a people can be enslaved and go through the harshest treatments of humanity for 462 years and still survive. We never thought like that, did we? We are some amazing people, brothers and sisters. Every last brother and sister that's sitting on this feed is valuable. As I said in the study group last night. What? Yes, sir, brother. Brother, let me let me read this comment from my brother, um, Lawrence Batiste. And he says, the DA in the Eric Garner case was rewarded for throwing the case by being elected by Staten Island to, to the in part of me by being elected by Staten Island to the in in think it's state senator for Staten Island the seat that was vacated by senator that blank 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 so what my brother is sharing with us is how they reward one another for the for the killings of us see these are all crooks that you're dealing with prosecutor DA drug drug Judges and all these people, they all crooks, right? But the minute we separate, as I said, and begin to do for self, we will stand a chance of survival. The immigrants that come here, they learn from us. And the Jews consider black people in America, as I was trying to say earlier, as liquid gold. We don't value money. We spend it. And if someone say something about the way we spent it, we get defensive, as we say, from a zero to a hundred real quick. That's what we do. Right? Four hundred billion dollars spent on Christmas gifts by black America in twenty sixteen. On Christmas gifts. Knowing damn well there's no such thing of it. But it is what it is for those who believe it. I'm not here to alter your belief system. But this is why we are so far behind as a people. So with that being said, family, I sincerely want to thank all of those who took the few moments of their time to sit and listen to our point in regards to the killing of a white woman. You can't kill a white woman nowhere on this planet and get away with it especially in the way that this white woman was killed. And I'm saying it the way it is. Hell, when they killed Eric Garner, they had smoke parties over it. I mean, these crackers are wicked. I'm talking about the ones in power. The police officers in New York are so bold. They make t-shirts. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Make it mockery. See? The officer that shot Mike Brown was so mad, so out of control, that he wasn't about to try to, as big as Mike Brown was, I don't think he could run that fast, that the officer couldn't run him down. But he wasn't trying to do all that. He wanted to end his life. So he shot 10 times and hit him nine times. 
according to some reports. And then confiscated the body. Wouldn't even allow the parents to take the body or retrieve the body. This is what they do. They confiscate the body and talk about it as police evidence. That's crazy that we allow that to happen to ourselves. Think about it, family. They're going to show you in this case how racist America is and her government towards black America, black people, and black lives. Black lives matter, justice or else. No other way. It has to matter to us first before anybody else. And until it mattered to us, it had never mattered to anyone else. Thank you for listening. I'll leave you as I came before you. In the nation, greet the words of peace and paradise. I sound like them. Hotek, peace.